Would you like to watch a movie, Mr. Phelps? I prefer the theater. Would you consider the cinema of the Ukraine? Perhaps you'll choose one for me. Thank you. Morning, Mr. Phelps. The man you're looking at is Alexander Golitsyn, an attaché at our embassy in Prague. He is also a traitor. He has stolen one half of the CIA knock list, a record of all our deep cover agents working in Eastern Europe. For security reasons, the knock list is divided in two. The portion that Golitsyn already has contains code names, but this half is useless without its mate which matches the code names with their true names. It is this half which Galitzin plans to steal from the embassy during a reception tomorrow night. Your mission, Jim, should you choose to accept it, is to obtain photographic proof of the theft, shadow Galitzin to his buyer, and apprehend them both. We've already dispatched a team selected from your usual group. Sarah Davies is already undercover. Jack Harmon can hack into any security system. Hannah Williams will handle surveillance, your wife Claire will cover transport, and Ethan Hunt will be your point man, as usual. He is now in Kiev and will rendezvous in Prague at a safe house of your choosing. As always, should you or any member of your IM force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow all knowledge of your actions. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Jim. Should you choose to accept it, involves recovery of a stolen item designated Chimera. You may select any two team members, but it is essential that the third team member be Naya Nordorf Hall. She is a civilian and a highly capable professional thief. You have 48 hours to recruit Miss Nordorf Hall and meet me in Seville to receive your assignment. As always, should you or any member of your IM force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow all knowledge of your actions. And Mr. Hunt, the next time you go on holiday, please be good enough to let us know where you're going. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. If I let you know where I'm going, then I won't be on holiday. Standing by, awaiting your word. 
this message, let's call it my excellent engagement gift to you, will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Ethan, and thanks again. in prison he disappeared after he and his wife you know I thought he'd just been transferred put on leave there were rumors though talk of an unsanctioned hit welcome back mr. hunt in your absence IMF has learned that cobalt is or was a level one nuclear strategist for Russian intelligence therefore the only way to uncover his actual identity is to infiltrate the Kremlin itself in order to get past their checkpoints, you will be impersonating General Anatoly Fedorov. We believe Cobalt will do everything he can to destroy any record of his identity. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to penetrate the highly secured archive inside the Kremlin and retrieve Cobalt's file before he can destroy it. New intel suggests Cobalt is already en route, leaving you... Four hours, 52 minutes. ...to infiltrate. To save time, we've chosen your team for you. Agents Carter and Dunn. As always, should you or any member of your team be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Ethan. We're about to close. That won't be long. You looking for anything in particular? Something rare. Let me guess. Classical. Jazz. Sax? Coltrane. Piano? Monk. Shadow Wilson on bass. Shadow Wilson played drums. No, why? They call him Shadow. Because he had a light touch. You're in luck. I have a first pressing. It really is you. I've heard stories. They can't all be true. Mr. Hunt, the weapons you recovered in Belarus were confirmed to be BX nerve gas, capable of devastating a major city. The bodies of the air crew were found less than 24 hours after they landed in Damascus. They were identified as low-level Chechen separatists, with neither the access nor the ability to acquire the weapons they were transporting. This would support your suspicion that a shadow organization is committed to inciting revolution by enabling acts of terror in nations friendly to Western interests. IMF suspects this to be the same shadow organization you have been tracking for the last year, also known as the Syndicate. IMF would be right. Normally, you and your team would be tasked with infiltrating and disrupting this terrorist network, but we have taken steps to ensure that this will not happen. Because we are the Syndicate, Mr. Hunt, and now we know who you are. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to face your fate. Pursue us, you will be caught. Resist us, you will be killed. And your precious secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. Good luck, Mr. Hunt. This message will self-destruct in five seconds.
Fate whispers to the warrior, a storm is coming. And the warrior whispers back, I am the storm. anarchist Solomon Lane. Since you captured him two years ago, his absence from the world stage has had unintended consequences. His syndicate of rogue covert operatives continues to wreak havoc around the globe. The CIA's Special Activities Division has relentlessly hunted Lane's elite network of hostiles, but many remain unknown and at large. The remnants of this extremist splinter cell refer to themselves as the Apostles. They have since adopted a policy of terror for hire making them an even greater threat. They are responsible for the recent smallpox outbreak in Indian-controlled Kashmir along the borders of China and Pakistan, threatening one-third of the world's population. The epidemic is being contained, but intelligence would indicate that a new client has hired the Apostles for a more ambitious operation. They have been contacted by this man, an unidentified extremist known only by the codename John Lark, author of this apocalyptic manifesto calling for the destruction of the current world order. It is believed Lark is responsible for the disappearance of Norwegian nuclear weapons specialist Niels Delbruck. Dr. Delbruck's security clearance was revoked after he expressed fiercely anti-religious views. Meanwhile, the Apostles have been in contact with elements of the Eastern European underworld who are in possession of three plutonium cores stolen from a missile base in Eastern Russia. This would indicate that John Lark and the Apostles are working together to acquire functioning nuclear weapons. Nest estimates that a man with Delbrook's knowledge, using the materials in play, could complete three nuclear weapons in as little as 72 hours. These devices would be man-portable and deployable anywhere on Earth overnight. In the hands of John Lark and the Apostles, these weapons represent an unprecedented threat to countless millions. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to prevent the Apostles from acquiring plutonium using any means at your disposal. If you or any members of your IMF team are caught or killed, the Secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. Good luck, Ethan. This message will self-destruct in five seconds.